Yo, what's up? So, back again. Last time y'all heard from me, I had just got fired from the first trucking company with the whole get your CDL program thing. But it will pay me 500 a week to get my CDL. And unfortunately, it didn't work out. It just didn't. They let me go. Well, I ended up getting on with another trucking company because that wasn't the only game in town. This time I got with Stevens Transport. I can say the name because it was a very good experience. I called them. They tried to get me to come to, I think it was Alabama. I forgot what the original location was. I was like, well, it said on the website there's local schooling. They was like, well, we have something in Columbus, Georgia. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. See the way I was thinking I could drive my, my ride down there. And when I drive my ride down there, I can. My bad, I'm in the airport, y'all. I could drive my ride down there and make some money. Uber, Lyft, you know, keep, keep some money in my pocket while I'm down there. Because they're not paying for nothing. They're just putting you in school, paying for the hotel. That's it. Well, I get to the hotel. It's the extended stay on Armor Road over in Columbus. They told me double occupancy. I'm like, uh, last time I had a roommate, he ended up being a complete and total snake. So I was kind of prepared for that. Well, luckily this time my roommate was pretty cool. Dude was real cool, as a matter of fact. I now consider him one of my best friends. But I got to school. Even though I had my permit, they still made me sit in the classroom with the folks who don't have a permit. So I was like, fuck it, I'ma just help them get a permit. I'ma help them learn this stuff. The teacher, Mr. Beck. Oh yeah, the school is Georgia Driving Academy. Georgia Driving Academy is a school. My bad. Georgia Driving Academy is a school, literally, that's a few trailers on a dirt lot. When I first pulled up, I started to say, oh, hell no. Nah. I started to turn around and just leave. But when I saw, you know, when I got in there, class was A1. Instruction was top notch. We had this real country dude named Todd on the yard. I got a real country accent. I'm, I'm not gonna really impersonate him here because I'm all out in public, but um, he's real country and he doesn't even realize it. Great instructor though. But I went through there for three weeks. First week, I felt, I ain't gonna lie, I failed FCDL exam a few times. Real easy, like one time I hit a curb, auto fail. One time I was trying to make a left turn, but I was in a far left lane instead of the right left turn lane. Failed. One time I was a, a little bit over the line at a red light. Failed. It was frustrating. But the last time I nailed it. Got my CDL. Now I'm on a plane. About to get on a plane. Heading to Dallas. About to start my career with Stevens Transport. And get ready to get to the money. But so far, my experience has been great. I met two good friends. Glenell. You know what I mean? Glenell was my roommate. He ended up being mad cool. And Ashley. Ashley, she was like one of the guys. You know what I mean? She was like the third one. The three of us stuck together like real hard. We looked out for each other. We, one of us goes somewhere, the other two go. But one went to test, even though we could have just sat up in the bed and waited, we still got up and went with the other person just for support. We all supported each other, you know what I mean? And now we all got our CDL. Ashley got hers the first time. She killed it. Glenell got his the third time. He was struggling with the pre-trip. I got mine. I got mine the fifth time. Yeah, the fifth time. And let me, I'm gonna tell y'all about this. The first time I fell, I got through the pre-trip. Pre-trip was the easiest part. Got through the pre-trip. After I did the pre-trip, I did the maneuvers, straight back, offset back, 
And then I found out I had to do a 90 for my third maneuver. I got to the 90. I got to the 90. Bruh. I pointed out. I had no points on any other maneuver when I did the 90. So they scheduled me for a test again. I did the maneuvers. I nailed that. And then this was the second test. Second test. I nailed the maneuvers, but I hit a curve. Get to the third test. Third test, I get on the road, and that's when I was in the wrong lane. Get to the fourth test, that's when I was over the line for that red light. Fifth test, I like, screw this, I'm doing everything perfect. Now mind you, in class, I struggled with shifting. I had a hard time with shifting. But when I got on that test, my shifting was almost perfect. I grinded gears one time trying to get it in gear. But other than that, my shifting was perfect. It was beautiful. Like, I wish I would have did that in school. But I got through the test. It was stressful, because that fourth time, they had me thinking that was my last chance. So when I failed that fourth time, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I was like, your driving is great. Your driving isn't a problem. It's just little simple things. So I had to watch the simple stuff. But that's a valuable lesson, dude, taught me. Always pay attention to the simple stuff, because the simple stuff will fuck you up. So, like I said, now I'm on my way to Dallas with the Stevens Transport. Yes, I went with cheap ass spirit. But I'm on my way from Atlanta to Dallas. Spirit has to be the cheapest, most nickel and dime airline I've ever seen or heard of. They charge you for your bags. They charge you for a carry-on. They charge you for checking a bag. They charge you for, if you want seat, I mean foot room. You want more leg room, they charge you for that. They charge you to pick your seat. They charge you an extra fee for everything. It's freaking ridiculous. But that's spirit for you. That's why they cheat. The company's reimbursing me up to two hundred dollars for this flight. Flight cost two oh eight with the with the bag. So I'm like, yeah, I could do it. Cheaper than what these other airlines wanted. These other airlines wanted at least three hundred dollars for the same flight. I wouldn't have enough. But anyway, I'm gonna keep up with y'all. I'm about to head over to the Luna Lodge in Mesquite, Texas. I heard nothing but bad things about this place. But I'm about to see for myself. Besides, the way they tell me orientation goes, only thing I'm going to have time to do in that room is sleep anyway. So anyway, this your boy Gideon. I'm out of here.